Omani voters living abroad casted their votes today to elect Shura Council members for the 10th term through the Intakhib application. The Ministry of Interior stated that the voters must ensure that their name is registered in the electoral register, download the new version of the application, and must have an or original ID card and a smartphone to be able to cast their votes. The electoral process witnessed the launch of the second version of the Antakhib application, which is characterized by an easy and simple user interface and a high level of security using the latest technologies in the field of encryption. To give us the latest updates on the voting process from outside the Sultanate of Oman, we have with us live from the Ministry of Interior, our reporter Ahmed bin Hilal Al Busaidi. Good evening, Ahmed. Can you update us on the on what's going on with the voting process? Yes, uh, good evening Sosan and good evening to all our viewers from the Sultanate of Oman and abroad. Of course, this is a special national event happening here on the 22nd. This is the first leg and then we have also the 29th Sosan with the second leg where people cast their votes, the citizens of the Sultanate of Oman cast their votes in this beautiful picture put together. So it's another beautiful national event as I said and everyone gets to cast their votes and choose the representative for the their wilaya in the upcoming 10th term of the Shura councils. So we have with us here Dr. Abir bint Muhammad Al Hajri, who is the head of the election committee from the Ministry of Interior. And we have just closed the numbers at 7 p.m. So we welcome her to talk to us about the updates for the Shura council elections and what did the final numbers for today, uh, Dr. Show, the 22nd of October. Yes, good evening, Mr. Ahmed, and good evening to everybody. Uh, today's uh, elections, uh, which started in, uh, for, for, for voters from outside Oman, started at 8 a.m. and uh, ends at 7 p.m. Uh, we just uh, closed uh, the, the voting or the election uh, system. Uh, since the morning, there was a good turnout. Uh, in the first hour, we had around uh, 2,000 2, uh, votes. Uh, for the first hour only, and hopefully by now we reach around 13,843, where 9,000 of those are male uh, voters, and 3, more than 3,500 are for female voters. Yes, so 13,000 plus. Now we do want to know, this is the first, like the 22nd of October, for the people voting outside the Sultanate of Oman. Any tips that you have for the 29th of October when people are voting uh, here locally from inside the Sultanate of Oman using the application? Uh, I would recommend for, for the voters from inside Oman uh, to try at least the application before the 29th. So uh, I would suggest to download the application uh, try to do, uh, try to uh, to take the pictures of the civil ID and then from front and the back. Uh, try to uh, try to read the personal data using the NFC and try to make sure that the NFC is activated on your phones. Uh, after that, maybe take a picture and check if your if your uh, uh, information are validated. Uh, and if you face any issues during this period, you can directly call uh, this, uh, the call center here uh, at the interior, the Ministry of Interior. That will help you uh, on that day, which will, be, uh, will, which will speed up the process. Also make sure that the voting on the 29th of October will start also from 8 a.m. and will end at 7 p.m. So make sure that your voting is casted during that period. Yes, uh, thank you very much for that, Dr. Abir. One final question is regarding, as you are the head of the committee, regarding what happened within the committee. How did they find the full-on process? Was it straightforward? Did you face any challenges? Uh, alhamdulillah, there was not that, uh, I mean, I, could, I, I, I will not say there are challenges. Yes, some people, when well, they are trying to vote, uh, they face some uh, problems um, in regard to, uh, I mean, technical issues. In regard to, uh, for example, uh, I, cannot, uh, I cannot verify my ID card or I cannot read it or, for example, I cannot use the NFC. So all these processes, when they, when they, call, uh, when they call or to, uh, try to communicate uh, through the uh, social uh, media, they have been, I mean, assessed directly at that moment. So I don't, I don't call these challenges, but uh, I mean, we were happy to have a few of these calls.
Yeah. Yes, uh, so Dr. Abir bint Muhammad Al Hajri, the head of the elections committee here within the Ministry of Interior, has shown us a positive image, Sosan. 13,000 plus for the first time happens here in the Shura Council. It's a beautiful number that indicates the, uh, the increase of awareness within the Omani community in terms of voting, and we're waiting for the second leg, which would be on the 29th, inshallah, the upcoming Sunday. Those are the updates that we have. Uh, for you, Sosin. Back to you in the news center.